Hey everybody, Timu time again. Okay, I'm not sure what's all in this because they really do have a habit of sending orders in pieces and they don't arrive uh, together, of course, and they will mix orders into different packages, all that stuff, but anyways, um, here we go. Ugh. I do know I've been ordering things for uh, Halloween. Because, you know, Halloween. It's never too early to plan for it. Oh, goodness. And it's another one of those days when my allergies are at their highest. Yeah, okay, let me get rid of that alarm real fast. Okay. Finish up here. I might be a little upset because I see what I know to be window clean stickers kind of wrapped around everything else or something. Okay. This here. I will admit I did look at the size, but the size that was stated seems a little incorrect because of the size of what I'm seeing. But Christmas is also coming up, so I do have a few ideas for Christmas. And as you can see, it's Merry Christmas. Might be helpful if it was done. They are wood. Um, can't remember how many to the package. Okay, this one is 32 pieces. And of course, all prices will be posted when I post the video. I think it's a really nice looking little wooden, I'm going to call them plaques, but some of this has to be picked out, I can see, which is all right. I'm good at doing that. Well, maybe, I guess. Oh my goodness. Well, if that don't make you feel incompetent for a while, huh? Well, I got most of that part out. I'll have to work on them as I use them. Okay, we'll set those aside. Okay, I see all the molds on top, so I'm going to go ahead and put them aside for a moment. Oh yes, this had a um, mystery, I bought two mystery packs of jewelry. Um, as well, so it should be in here somewhere. Okay, what you're seeing are Halloween ribbons. They're a um, little over 70 some inches. Well, I know my eyes are horrible, but wow.
and it looks like they are rayon. Repeat patterns. And whatever screen is still be available that has not been discontinued or is out of stock at this moment, when I post the video, um, every link will be there. I got two of those. Um, two of these with Witch and Spider. Two of the ghost cats. Excuse me. Pumpkins with hats. And this one that's purple with spiders. Well, that is horrible trying to see that up there in it. Okay, so very quickly, let's pull that one out. So spiders and witches hats on a purple pol polka dotted background. Stamp pads. Of course, as you can see, that's mainly meant for children. But, you know, aren't we all children at heart? Some of us act more like children, but um, lots of different colors. Uh, so that's two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So twenty-four. Okay, yep, that's my window clean stickers. So, uh, well, hopefully it'll come out well. Let's see if I can find the opening to it. Well, it doesn't look like there's an actual pull-apart opening, so let's give it a shot. We just grab the little pair of scissors and make our own opening. You ever have one of those days when things just don't want to do what you want them to do concerning your own body. That's going to be today for me. I'm already halfway through the day. It's just a little afternoon. And I had to take a nap because I was up all night long. And so I just got up a little while ago. Um... Well, goodness, okay, they seem to be stuck. There we go. There should be two sheets of these spiders and webs. And then we have the haunted house or tree. See, brain's not working yet. There's that, there's a haunted house. There should be two sheets of bats. There's one there. One there, and there's the other sheet of spiders. I want to find some place to set them flat. For right now, I'll just throw them in my computer desk here. Okay, those are put away for now. Okay, let me see. 
high-end skincare experience. Repa. Waiting for a clue. Oh, I think this might be mica powders. Probably mica powders. If it is, they're packaged pretty well. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I end my uh, skincare experience. Oh! This is my free, or no, yeah, this is my free gift from playing a game on Timu. And it is a cordless airbrush. I figured this would be quite handy with my paintings and probably a lot of everything else. And yes, very well packaged. Oh, well, this is gonna be a joy to use. You got your air you got your pots for sitting on top here. mechanism worked pretty well. It's got not a lot of airflow, I'll tell you that. Okay, that, that'll be a trial and error situation. I was hoping for some better airflow, but eh, it is what it is, right? You get it free, you don't complain. Don't let the gift horse in the mouth. But you really should because sometimes, you know, it's that Trojan horse thing where something else is hidden behind it that you don't want. Um, okay, a little crushed. lost that one. My hear no evil, see no evil, owl. Speak no evil, of course. Hear no evil. See no evil. I'll get them up a little closer. And of course, my hand will give you the size estimate. And speak no evil. A little glittery. So they sparkle. I really like these. resin and this gigantic little old thing we'll get to that in one second nail art stickers also for resin work so that's what I'll be doing with them I'm trying to get them close enough without losing them in the focus. Probably not doing a good job of it. And of course they are Halloween themed.
And because I absolutely love the beach, this is the second item I got to choose from that game for free. This is a bath set. This is the lid cover. For your toilet. This is for in front of your toilet. We got kind of a smell to them. A good sized mat for in front of your bathtub. As you can see, curtain rings. the shower curtain. And it is actually really good quality. I will try to get it as open as I can here and feed it through a little at a time. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it is. Do you want to know what the big problem with it is? And that's the, ba the bottom part of it right there. The bigger problem is that I don't have a bathtub or a real bathroom right now. It went under construction about... Uh, Oh, I don't know, um, three, four, five years ago before I even moved in here. And, uh, well, I'm still waiting for it to get finished. So I have the master bathroom, and I don't see why they call it a master bathroom. Because uh, it's got a shower that's about maybe 30 inch by 30 inch. So, um, extremely tight to try to get a shower in. And I'm not exactly humongo huge, but I am a little huge. And so fitting my little old body in that 30 by 30 shower and trying to maneuver and having some bad health issues makes it one of the more difficult tasks on the planet. So one day I will get that bathroom finished. My husband's had to work a lot, so he, I can't blame him. But we haven't hired anybody either. And we really need to do that. Because I would like to luxuriate myself in a bath. Oh yes, to lay down and kick back and maybe even, since I don't drink um, any alcohol, maybe even go ahead and do something uh, spectacular and have some sparkling cider or something. You know, a little bit of pretend, some candles, and these days I can't run for the dickens, so, um, well, 
they're not going to be flame candles. They'll be battery operated probably with a remote. Okay, enough of my rambling on. You watched me get it all put back. You got to see what was all here. Oh, wait. I almost cheated you all, didn't I? The molds. So let's get that. I'm going to leave this black here because it's so much easier to see with. This is what I don't like about Timo. When they cram everything together, your molds come in looking more mangled than a pretzel. All right, let's see if I can get it to straighten out. And it shouldn't be a problem with this one too greatly. Ugh. All right, sea turtle. And this is the one with scenes in it. I don't know if that's picking it up all the way, but there's like an octopus looking tentacle thing here. Um, some seaweed looking stuff. As you can see, it is actually a good size. And the turtle is from here to here with a fin down here. And not fin, it's a flipper. I'll get it. Honest. And it looks like the bottom of the belly is right about here and it's got fish in. Um, not sure if that's supposed to be his back fin or not. So, anyway, another mold for you guys to choose if I use it or not. And then, keeping in the ocean theme, Yeah, that little crackly noise gets to me too, people, and I'm the one sitting right on top of it. So if I gotta suffer, you gotta suffer. LOL. Don't you just love how you use terminology like that? After you've been on the internet for a while. Starfish. This hat. Excuse me. <coughs> This has a lighthouse right here and a beach area and hills and trees and then down below it's got three ships and then it's got a bunch of fish what looks like birds why do I seem to remember that scenery stuff it's got a jellyfish down here I'll have to pull out all my, my other uh, ocean molds and see what's going on with that, huh? Because I don't think I've gotten a starfish yet, except for that one. Now, this one was listed as an eagle, but as Michelle from Glitz and Glitter and her husband Don pointed out, uh... They noticed the same thing I did. They've got a problem, as in the persons that did this, with disseminating what uh, the beak of an eagle is and what the beak of a parrot is. So as you can tell, this is not an elongated beak, this is a parrot's beak. And it has got great detail. So this is not an eagle, everyone. This is a parrot. It's kind of got the expression of an eagle, but 
definitely not the beak of one. And then the last mold. Well, um, let me see. Definitely have to cut this one out. This is a mold I had sitting in my Timu cart probably from the day one. And I just didn't do it, didn't do it, didn't do it. You know, that kind of thing. And then I finally had to do it. But this is the feet for it. And this is the mold itself. As you can tell, it has got a bathtub shape. If I don't have a bathtub myself, what do I do? I at least dream on. So, really flimsy, so you gotta be careful of what you put in and what weight. Um, I don't know about getting it turned out to be able to paint in it with the micas, but it looks like it stands straight, sits straight, so that's a good thing, especially after that one last mold I had that, wow, it was bad. Okay, end of the Timu for this time. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like this. Hit the subscribe and the little bell if you want to see more videos and be reminded of or notified of more videos coming in. Um, comment, pretty please. Um, uh, very shortly here we're going to be doing the You Get to Choose the Mold and you get to choose the colors uh, video, which means you get to choose the mold and you get to choose the color, which means it's the consensus of everybody in the comments um, of what mold to use. Now, if there's no double up on any of the molds, then we're going to take those molds and uh, probably, I don't know, put them aside or whatever and choose from different molds, but we'll see what happens. All right, uh, share if you find somebody that is interested in this kind of thing, uh, or any of my other videos where I do the resin work and I do the paintings. Um, soon there will be a knitting one. I get to finish a project I've had going for, oh my gosh. Uh, since 20, 2013, yeah, I think 2013, so 10 years. Um, lots of life happened in between that 10 years. So, I'll be finishing that on the camera, um, so that you can see what I was making, <laughs> began making 10 years ago. All right, enjoy your lives, everybody. And thank you for watching. Oh, real quick. I forgot a fifth mold. I forgot I actually ordered two of those bathtubs. Go figure. LOL. Talk to y'all soon. Well, you know, video you all soon. Or video me. Yeah. See ya.